So, now we come to the 42nd class that is in dairy and food process and products technology uh, lecture number 42. So, we said that we will discuss on thermal death time. right? So, if we want to look at the thermal death time curve, then first here we have drawn it like that. Okay? So, the thermal death time of microorganisms eat food processing is like this. Thermal death time is the minimum time to accomplish a total destruction. Like so, if that be then we are plotting a x y plot right, where temperature in degree centigrade in x axis and T d t that is thermal death time in minute in y axis we are plotting right. And this is a plot which we have come across right. So, there these are the log 1 log 2 log like that similarly in the this is in the log log graph paper right. So, if that be true then this is that to bring down 1 to bring down 1 log cycle this is the temperature which we are this is that tem this at this temperature uh, one log cycle is being reduced and this is the slope of that curve right so we, we come to that slope of the line tdt this is the thermal death time line right so if we see that then it is negative slope right so because if it is like this then it is a positive slope if it is like this then it becomes a negative slope i hope this we know right so if we look at that then this uh, slope for tdt line is minus log tdt1 that is this log T d T 1 right minus log T d T 2 T d T 2 is this. So, this is 1.1 this is 0.2 corresponding temperature T 1 and T 2 and T 2 minus divided by T 2 minus T 1 right. So, by using so slope using z value which we have said 1 d so, that means, we have negative of that we have taken 1 d that is 1 log cycle that is log 10 minus log 1 by z right that is the that is the z value which we have defined right. So, this is nothing but is equals to that log 10 minus log 1 is 1. So, 1 minus 1 by z. So, from this and this we can correlate that log T d T 1 minus log T d T 2 by T 2 minus T 1 is nothing but 1 by z because here we have a negative here we have a, we had a negative here also we have a negative. So, that is cancelling out. So, T d T log T d T 1 minus log T d T 2 by T 2 minus T 1 is 1 by z or log T d T T uh, T d T 1 minus uh, the over log T d T 2 is T 2 minus T 1 by z or this can be may be in the next slide we have written. So, this can be log of T d T 1 over T d T 2 right T d T 2 oh, oh. log of T d T 1 over log of this log of T d T 2. So, this is equals to T 2 minus T 1 
over z right. So, replacing T d t with the symbol f now if we replace this with f then we get log of f 1 divided by f 2 is equals to t 2 minus t 1 over z right that is what we will show in the next slide that log of log of f 1 over f 2 by t 2 minus t 1 by z or log of f 1 over f 2 is equals to t 2 1 t 2 minus t 1 by z or f 1 by f 2 is 10 to the power t 2 minus t 1 by z or f 1 is equals to f 2 10 to the power t 2 minus t 1 by z right. If we now assume that f 2 to be the reference temperature then f 1 is f reference t uh, 10 to the power t reference minus z right here it should be ref. So, that was the typing mistake. So, t reference minus t 1 by z. So, value of f at reference with the reference temperature is known if that be known if the z value of that is known then what is the f value or if for a given t 1 what is the f value or if f 1 is known what is the t value that we can find out right. This is how T d t progresses that f depends on this says that f depends on temperature and is specific for a microorganism. So, for a given microorganism that f is a function of temperature right that is what we have seen f is f 1 is f reference 10 to the power t reference minus t 1 over z which says that f is a function of temperature right. So, if that be true then broadly we can say that pasteurization can be categorized as either low or high temperature pasteurization methods. Both of these can be either the batch or continuous process for low temperature pasteurization is simply is, is majorly concerned with food safety and aims at killing all pathogenic microorganisms and reducing spoilage types in a food sample. Milk that has undergone low temperature pasteurization is suitable for making cheese because it encourages synergesis, right. Synergesis the other day other time I have I hope we have said that uh, the best example is that for synergesis to understand that when you are making jam jelly jam jelly when you are making. So, that time if there is and jam jelly marmalade they are physical they are there there is a physical mixture there right there is no chemical bonding in that it is a physical gel and in that gel formation if there is any of the constituents like maybe pectin maybe acid anything if they are not in the right proportion then the gel does not set and water comes out from the gel and this exudation of water is known as weeping of jelly or in other words in scientific term it is called synergesis. Here also that exudation right in, in, in cheese exudation is required. So, there it is helpful right. So, that low temperature pasteurized milk is helpful for making cheese a product 
widely all over the world is liked by people. Right? So, if that be true, then let us look into that low temperature pasteurization can assume low temperature pasteurization can assume various temperature time combinations such as 63 degree centigrade for 30 minutes or 72 degree centigrade for 15 seconds. Mild heating kills all pathogenic bacteria and reduces the load of spoilage bacteria, but preserves more physico chemical properties of the milk that is an advantage that again this Q 10 is coming into being. If you remember Q 10 we had said that is the temperature question right. You remember we had said that this is nothing but K T plus 10 over K T right. This we have said earlier. So, here also that this all the changes which are occurring which will occur they are function of the temperature. So, if the temperature is high then the reactions whatever it be good or bad. So, they are also increasing the rates of the reactions are also increasing. So, the lower the temperature better for the product there is no ambiguity as far as its, its, as far as its uh, quality is concerned. But quality that is a, a big term which we have defined earlier and said in detail. But here one thing we have to keep in mind our target our objective is to kill all the pathogenic organisms minimum and then if possible many spoiling organisms or all spoiling organisms. Generally, the spoiling organisms their temperature is also not very high right. That is why if it is pasteurized at a right temperature and time combination then not only the pathogen, but also many spoiling organisms are also destroyed right. So, all this is for low temperature low time that is what we call 63 degree centigrade 30 minute or 72 degree centigrade 15 seconds. On the other hand high temperature pasteurization aims at killing the vegetative pathogenic and spoilage bacteria as well as denaturing as much serum protein as possible right. High temperature pasteurized milk is more suitable for making yogurt because synergesis will not occur there or not required. So, high temperature pasteurization is there required because yogurt does not need or it does not uh, synergesis does not happen there. So, there high temperature pasteurization is very very helpful. The serum proteins are denatured, hence they will not separate out, right. So, it is denatured, so it will not also separate out. Otherwise, at that high temperature, you remember we said that when you were making that uh, protein casein separation, then you have the soluble protein. So, those soluble proteins, if they are heated, so they become insoluble. But when you are uh, making it denatured, then the property is altogether changed. So, that is that is what is happening and high temperature pasteurization is also killing the spore formers. The choice of pasteurization whether it is high temperature or low temperature. So, pasteurization method depends on several factors which may not be limited to right which may or may not be limited to intended purpose of the pasteurized milk what is the purpose which you are using whether you are making cheese 
from the pasteurized milk whether you are making uh, any other product like uh, your um, yogurt or you are making uh, the whole milk um, I mean liquid milk drink for drinking like that. So, that what is your end product uh, activity what you will do with that. So, that will dictate that will tell you what should be the pasteurization temperature and how should you pasteurize method. Access to to sophisticated equipment that is another thing you may need to do pasteurization, but you do not have the sophistication or the instruments which are sophisticated. So, your access if it is not there in spite of your need you cannot do that. So, that is another aspect volume of milk to be pasteurized that is another aspect how much volume you have to pasteurize whether it is 100 liter or, or 1 lakh liter or 10 lakh liters that will dictate of course, the availability of the uh, recent or, or improved pasteurizers or, or methods or instruments. Then target microorganism, what is the, your target microorganism? Because from the target microorganisms from its TDT curve, you can know what is the time and what is the temperature required to inactivate that typical target organism and you can work on your pasteurization time and temperature right. So, whenever so whatever be the case one can choose to carry out normal pasteurization or ultra pasteurization right. So, you can choose normal pasteurization or ultra pasteurization. Now, what is normal? normal pasteurization will preserve milk for about 2 to 3 weeks while ultra high temperature or ultra pasteurization will preserve milk for even up to 1 year. The other day when packaging I was showing I hope you have seen that there are some packaged tetra pack things were well like that. Now, if you go to the market and ask that I want sterilized milk they will give you similar like that. That depends on the company how they are making the packet whether it is a pyra, uh, pyramidal shape or whether it is a, a rectangular shape that uh, having some handling facility or things like that. So, that will depend on the processor how they will make how will they will make the packaging, but definitely that the uh, high temperature where ultra high temperature pasteurize that milk may survive or may sustain even up to one year or more. Whereas, normal pasteurization the milk will survive no around one to two weeks not more than that. Right. So, this we have to keep in mind and depending on that you have to select the method of pasteurization. Right. Then different types of thermal processing methods, different types of thermal processing methods are that thermi that the, this is thermization, thermization is a process or heat process where the milk to be uh, heated between 57 to 68 degree centigrade and holding period is around 15 minutes. So, temperature is around 57 to 68 degree centigrade and time is around 15 minutes. So, low time a uh, low temperature high time it is being heated for pasteurization right. In normally we had given that earlier time temperature combination one was 63 degree centigrade for 30 minutes and other was 72 degree centigrade for 15 seconds. But in thermin, in this that thermization we are calling that it is between 57 to 68 degree centigrade 
temperature whereas, the time requirement is 15 seconds uh, sorry 15 minutes right. So, this is targeting the pathogenic bacteria while leaving the good bacteria in the product. So, only this will kill the pathogenic organisms, but the good bacteria which because you are heating when the temperature is high. So, temperature does not know who is good and who is bad right. So, depending on the temperature the corresponding organisms also will get killed. So, along with bad organisms if you are also killing some good organisms that is not desirable right because nature has produced it such like such way in such a way. So, if you are killing the pathogenic organisms, but restoring that uh, good organisms beneficial organisms then the that process where the temperature zone is 57 to 68 degrees centigrade and time requirement is 15 minutes is called thermization or thermization. Then there the low temperatures do not alter the structure and taste of milk because again Q 10. So, the lower the temperature better for it. So, in this case better than 72 degree centigrade 72 is much higher may be for 15 seconds, but much higher temperature here you are 63 degree centigrade 30 minutes. So, here you are making 63 57 to 68 degree centigrade within this zone, but it is 15 degree minutes that is what you are heating right. So, you are killing all pathogen, but not the desirable or favorable or helpful bacteria right. Now, batch pasteurization is such that uh, no which is also known as low temperature long time LTLT low temperature long term pasteurization where he milk is heated to 63 degree centigrade for 30 minutes. The extended holding time causes alteration in the milk protein structure and also the test because at 63 though the temperature is low, but time is more right though the temperature is low, but time is more. So, 30 minutes you are heating at 63. So, lot of alterations may take place in the milk protein and its structure as well the test. So, that you have to keep in mind. Then flash pasteurization that is another pasteurization process where you are doing flash pasteurization also known as high temperature short time HTST pasteurization high temperature short time right. He where milk is heated between 72 to 74 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 seconds and the targets are resistant pathogenic bacterial spores like Clostridium botulinum spores. So, another technique of pasteurization is ultra high temperature or UHT pasteurization. There, you are heating milk between 135 degree to 140 degree centigrade for 2 to 4 seconds, and in this case, the extreme heat targets the coaxilla. Coxella barnetti, Coxella barnetti, which causes Q fever. So, Q fever is caused by Coxella barnetti, right? And you are doing ultra high temperature pasteurization. The heat kills all the vegetative forms of bacteria, and the milk can survive for nine to nine months around. 
Then another one is canned sterilization. This is a wet treatment of canned milk products in an autoclave. They are specialized treatment chambers. Autoclave is what? Autoclave is there. I hope you have seen. You know that you have some lead and you have some water, some heating element there. So, you are heating and, and, and locking that uh, lid, tightening it, so that it becomes leak proof and then heating this that pressure is increasing. So, when the temperature comes to 121 degree centigrade, you are keeping for 15 minutes and that is called high temperature sterilization or canned sterilization. So, this is a wet treatment of canned products in an autoclave specialized treatment chambers heat to be between 115 to 121 degree centigrade between 10 to 20 minutes. Right. So, here again you are seeing that range right 115 to 120 degree centigrade and time is 10 to 20 minutes right. These all depend of course, in this case our product is milk, but these all depends on the many factors right. What is the pH? What are, what are the type of food? So, depending on them the heat treatment may vary right. So, if we look at that. So, the next uh, our today's time is almost over. So, we will come to this next, but today we have come how different ways pasteurization are performed right, including flash, canned, ultra high temperature pasteurization everything we have we have come across and this we should keep in mind. So, that subsequently when we are also doing not only pasteurization, but standardization and then uh, homogenization all this process will be covering subsequently. Okay? Today's time is up. So, let us stop it today now. Thank you.